Hello everyone, welcome to linuxin.com YouTube channel. Hope you are finding this video in the best of your health and in the best of your shape. My name is Talha and today I'm going to talk about bash comments and I'm also going to talk about bash uh, here doc delimiter. So without a further ado, let's start. If we talk about bash comments, uh, then comments have no value and they do have a value at the same time. Let me explain this phenomena. The idea is that when you write comments in the file, it has no value for the computer or the compiler. But it has a value for you because you write comments for yourself. As humans, we have tendency to forget and that's why when you're writing hundreds of thousands of lines of code, you basically do write comments so that whenever you look at your code, you just immediately remember that what it is for. If you work in big projects, if you work with big teams, you also need comments so that your teammates can understand that why you have put this code in this specific place. Hope you have understand the concept of uh, bash comments. So now let's do some practical example of comments in bash and once we are done with the bash comments then i can explain to you the here doc delimiter as well so now let's jump into my computer and let's take a look at how we can comment in bash scripting okay so now you can see that we are on our computer screen and here uh, you see a desktop Okay, uh, we are currently in our desktop directory and if I nano my script, which is essentially hello.sh, um, I come here, I see an echo statement. Okay, so if I want to comment in the bash, what I can do is that I just have to write here a hash sign and then I would say this is an echo statement. Okay. So now if I save my file, if I go here and if I try to run my script, you can see that I have the output hello and welcome to Linux Hint. But if I go inside my file again, then I'll be able to see that I also have a line. This is an echo statement. The compiler or the terminal didn't even consider this line, which is this is an echo statement and it has considered it as a comment. All right. So what if I remove this hash sign from here? Now, this is not a comment, but the terminal would consider it a part of the bash script. And in bash script, there is no such syntax, so it's gonna cause an error. So if I press Control O, I save this, I come here, and if I try to run my script, you can see that it's giving us an error. It's saying that command not found, okay? So it means that there is no such syntax in bash and terminal doesn't recognize it. So we have comments for our own understanding. And now if I write here hash, the error would be gone and our script would work just fine as it was working previously. Okay, so you can see it has no error. So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to show you that how you can do multiple comments because sometimes you have a long description of code so how would you do that so in order to do it there are basically two ways but if you keep on doing hash then it's going to take you forever to comment multiple lines so for example if i just basically copy this this is an echo statement okay So now, if I just simply copy it, and let's say I paste this line here. Okay, so now you can see that we have multiple lines here. So if you, let's say if you have 100 lines, you're not gonna put in each line 100 hash because it's gonna be so much time consuming. So you wanna save time. So how you can comment all of them is that you would write here a colon and then you would give a space here and then you would write here um, a single quote and then where you want to end the comments there you can also put in a single colon okay so what it would do it would basically 
make all of that, which is inside this syntax, it would comment all of that. So now let's check it. So if I press control O, I save it. I come here, I try to run my script, okay. Now you can see that I have no errors and it say hello and welcome to Linux Hint, which means that this syntax has worked perfectly and it has commented all these lines. Okay, so that was all about comments. Hope you have liked it, hope you have learned it. Now let's move forward to here doc delimiter. So here doc delimiter is a phenomena. It's, a, it's the most interesting thing in bash. In bash, you cannot use multiple lines. So for example, if with the cat command, I want to print multiple lines, like by pressing enter coming to the next line, I cannot do it. I cannot do it with other commands as well. How do I do it? I use a delimiter, which means that the delimiter works as a token. So the token stays right in front of the command and inside you write as many lines as possible and then you write, you close that token with the delimiter uh, name. What happens is that command is gonna consider everything which is inside those delimiter words. It's, it's gonna consider it a single entity and then it's going to execute it. So with example, you will understand better. So without wasting any time, let's jump into my computer and let's see an example. So now here you can see my computer screen. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna nano the script and here we are. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna remove everything and here I'm gonna write a new script, okay? So the new script could be anything. I can use any command. But for the purpose of understanding, the cat command is the easiest to understand. So I would use that. So I would write here cat, and then I would write here two angle brackets. Previously, when we used to uh, save the data into the file, what we would do that we would make the direction of this angle bracket towards the cat because we wanted to uh, the file to pick up the data from the terminal, right? But in this case, we are gonna throw the data into the terminal, okay? We don't want the user to write inside the terminal, but we want the user to view what we're gonna show them in the terminal, okay? Hope you've got the point. So now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna write here the here doc delimiter. It's like a variable. You can name it anything you want, okay? So first of all, let me just give you a general syntax. So whatever you are gonna write here, let's say here doc delimiter, it has to be the same, it has to match with the second one, okay, that you're gonna write here. And inside here, you would write multiple lines, okay, line one, line two, line three, and it's gonna do, it's gonna work like this, okay? Hope you've got the point. So here doc delimiter, uh, let's name it something creative. So let's say I call it BMW, okay? So it's a car name, it doesn't make sense. So let's say lines, okay? So lines is my, basically you can say here doc delimiter. And now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna write here multiple lines to print out. So I would say hello and welcome to Linux Hint, we, are good in bash or we can say we are good with bash we help people learn programming and linux and much more related to tech visit our website linuxhint.com now if i want to close it what i would do I would use the delimiter lines again, and now it would be closed. So I press Control O, I hit Enter, I press Control X, I come out of here, and now I'm gonna run my script, okay? So now if I hit Enter, you can see that all those cat lines have been printed out here, all those separate lines. So with single command, we have used multiple lines. Hello and welcome to Linux Hint. We are good with Bash. We help people learn programming and Linux and much more related to tech. Visit our website linuxin.com. So if I go inside my script and uh, I nano it, let's say, and if I want to change the here dog delimiter, I can do so. Okay, I can name it whatever I want. 
let's call it here doc and let's call this one here doc as well so now if i save it i go back i run my script i will pretty much get the same result and why is that because here doc has worked itself so here doc basically is used with other things as well so let me do another example here with the cat so let's say which would make it more clear okay so let's say if i want to know that which user i have or which directory i am currently in i can also do that so for that in linux uh, we have uh, variables so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to write here my current directory is and then i'm going to write here pwd or pwd I think it would work so then i'm going to write here my current user is and then i'm going to write here instead of pwd right now i'm going to write here who am i so i press ctrl o i save it i come here i run my script and here you can see that it says my current directory is it didn't recognize it but my current user is Linux here. So maybe I need to enclose that in the brackets. Let's see, okay? So I would just come here and I would close that into the brackets and let's see the result now. So if I run my script, here you can see that it shows us my current directory is slash home slash Linux slash desktop and then it says my current user is Linux hand. Okay. So there are other commands that you can use. Like, for example, you can use here doc with the cat that we have done. You can use here doc with touch. You can use here doc with uh, double pipes. Okay. Uh, we're going to use it in the upcoming future videos. Uh, hope you will see more examples related to it. So that's it from this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. You have learned something new. We have discussed comments and here doc. And if you want us to cover any specific batch topic, we're going to cover probably 200 batch topics in this video series. Uh, but still, if you want uh, some topic of your own choice, uh, tell us in the comments below. Maybe that topic is not included in our list. So give us feedback. How was this video? If you want to improve us something, um, you can also talk about it in the comments. And if you're not subscribed to our channel, please do so by clicking the red button and press the bell icon so that you can uh, get notifications and you don't miss our future videos. Thank you so much for watching.